Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be exploring the top five ways generative AI is revolutionizing the finance industry. I also have a bonus area at the end, so stick around. Let's get started. First up, generative AI is revolutionizing customer experiences in the financial industry. Generative AI can look up a large corpus of data and come up with specific solutions and specific answers to customer queries. Compared to the earlier chatbots, the new and enhanced chatbots have a better conversational ability with generative AI. It also opens up the possibilities to search images, videos, and much more. Let's look at an example of a credit card fraud resolution. The virtual agent can automatically alert a customer about a fraudulent transaction, check the transaction with the customer, ensure that the transactions are fraudulent or not. And if it is fraudulent, they can flag those transactions as fraudulent and even take steps to cancel the credit card. They can then even complete the paperwork from the customer so that a new credit card can be issued for the customer. With generative AI, these virtual assistants can be very personalized. For example, it can take the paperwork based on the location from where the request is coming in. So with generative AI, we are able to flag the fraudulent transactions quickly, have a good conversation with the customer, and also give them personalized experiences, which brings in a new dimension in customer experience for the financial industry. Next up, generative AI can turbocharge your ability to search through document information, analyze them, and create new briefs, presentations, and other documents. Lots of the finance work involves looking through internal documents, let's say contracts or external documents like research reports, and then analyzing that information and coming up with your own briefs or presentations and reports. Reports. Generative AI can help you a lot in that area. Once trained on your internal and external corpus of documents, the generative AI can answer your specific questions with respect to what you're looking for in terms of research. So now instead of looking through various documents and coming with, up with your research findings, you can actually query the generative AI with specific questions you want to accelerate your research. Now, based on whatever research you have done, you can even ask generative AI to generate a presentation, a report or a brief that you want for your next meeting or your next pitch. So with generative AI, now you, ha you have very less time parsing through documents, getting the information quickly, and you can spend more time with your customers. Next up, one of the most promising areas in finance with respect to generative AI use cases is the financial planning and forecasting. Gen AI can help you with the corporate budgeting process by analyzing the past financial performance as well as the current market conditions. This helps you allocate resources more optimally and plan for the future financial needs. Gen AI can also do financial scenario analysis and stress test your financial systems. You can simulate various financial scenarios based on the market conditions and various economic indicators. This can help you assess the potential risk and opportunities for coming up with robust financial strategies. You can also use generative AI for credit risk assessment. You can analyze the vast amount of customer data, transaction data, to understand the trends and behaviors and understand if there is a risk of credit default. So as you can see, generative AI can help you with various facets of financial planning and forecasting. Next up, another promising area for generative AI is to enhance the automation of repetitive work within the financial industry. Lots of data in the financial industry is in unstructured documents like PDFs. With generative AI, it makes reading of this data easier and this data can then be taken and freed up to put in your different systems like an ERP system or a financial system or an invoice processing system or even to databases. One of the big areas that can be automated within the finance industry is report generation. Again, with generative AI's ability to read vast amounts of data from various documents, it can collate all this data to create coherent structured reports. This can speed up the report generation process. Not only that, it improves the accuracy of these reports. It can even automatically create visualization like charts and graphs, put it in documents, and even distribute them over emails automatically. 
And finally, one of the areas where generative AI can contribute to financial industry is in terms of fraud detection. They can be trained on vast amounts of data to understand the normal behavior and then use those to detect any patterns that's deviating from the normal. This can help us flag fraudulent transactions like we discussed in the customer service example. Generative AI can also do predictive modeling by training on the past historical fraudulent data. So generative AI can then use that to predict the likelihood of a fraud occurring again. This can help you take preventive measures before the fraud occurs. One more bonus area where generative AI can help is in terms of regulatory compliance. There's lots of old regulations and with AI, there's lot more new regulations coming up. With generative AI, you can summarize these regulations quickly and understand what are the actions that you need to take. It can even help you generate the regulatory documents that's required. This can help highly regulated industries like banking where regulators are always asking for some document or the other. So there you have it five practical ways you can transform the financial industry with generative AI. But there's more. I have made a video with 30 plus use cases across industries. I'll put, leave that somewhere here. Please help others find this video by liking it below as well as if you find this content useful, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.